Well, you certainly could, and it would be a great help. I'm just trying to get Lenny off to work. Well, I just want to borrow a cup of bleach. I could really come back later. No, you can't, Julia. You ever try to make a sausage sandwich holding a baby? Not that I can recall. Morning, Julia. Hi, Lenny. Murray, have you seen my badge? Badge? Yes. Just a little while ago, I saw your badge. Badge. Now, where was that? Where was that? Badge. Of course, Julia. Will you get it for me? Yeah, sure. Where is it? On the baby's diaper. My police badge? Well, it was the only extra pin I could find here this morning. I hope these things don't tarnish. Thanks. Okay, here's your lunch, honey. Thanks. See you tonight. Bye, Julia. Saw that? I didn't see anything. That's what I'm talking about. He's just a little annoyed or preoccupied. Oh, Julia, this is the first time. Lenny doesn't even see me anymore. He's just plain bored with me. Bored? With someone who has enough imagination to use a policeman's badge as a diaper pin? Impossible. I mean it. I'm worried. He'd rather look at mug shots than at me. <laughs> oh, now, don't, Marie. Why not? I haven't had a good cry since last night. Well, it won't help. What will? Listen, Marie, I'm sure Leonard loves you. I'm not. After seven years of marriage, he's grown accustomed to my face, and it makes him sick. <laughs> Every marriage has to be taken hold of and given a little shake now and then. Well, any shake in mine, pretty good. We'll shake back. Today's Saturday. We'll take the boys to the movie. We'll leave the baby with the Bennetts. And we'll go out on a shopping spree. And we'll get a whole new look for Marie Wagadorn that'll really shake up Leonard Wagadorn. Yeah, and even if it doesn't, if I spend enough money, he won't be bored with me. He'll kill me. Just as I thought. Police brutality begins at home. Let's go. <laughs> Julia. Mm, not bad. Clashes with your sneakers. Well, no. It's just not you, Murray. This one's definitely out. It's very in, I insist. But I'll catch pneumonia. You might also catch Lenny's attention. You've got to try it. Really? Really. But those sneakers have got to go. Maybe those boots weren't made for walking, but on you, they look sensational. Are you sure, Julia? I feel like a fireman in these things. The police and the firemen work together beautifully, don't they? I'll take them. Now, this is our Cleopatra model, and as you can see, it's stunning. Just stunning. I look stunned, all right, just like I fell right out of the barge. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Shall we try this one instead? It's, uh... <clears throat> it's called the Heidi. It's the current rage. So popular. Julia, you look like you should go in Heidi. 
Madam is very witty. Oh. <laughs> Please excuse me. <laughs> I won't be a twinkle. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Julie, I don't need a wig. Lenny's going to have a stroke as it is. It's the final touch, Marie. The thing that'll give you a brand new look. I'll be lucky to get off with just an old dirty look. Now, don't worry. We'll find something. Hey, try this on just for laughs, huh? <laughs> Holy mackerel, Andy. I think that looks kind of cute. <laughs> How do you like this one? Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple Black. <laughs> Marie, here, try this one. Okay. Oh, Julia. I just love it, don't you? It's adorable. And it's perfect, just perfect. But... But what? Well, I like it, and you like it. But do gentlemen really prefer blondes? Well, I don't know about gentlemen, but husbands do. My husband didn't. Hey, come to think of it, Lenny had a real crush on Elizabeth Taylor once in National Velvet. I'll tell you what. Let's not be half safe. We'll take one of each. Oh, hold it, spendthrift. I can't afford one, let alone two. Well, what are we saving, money or a marriage? Busy, busy, busy. Oh, very smart, madam. Very chic, indeed. Thank you. Now, what can you show us in early Elizabeth Taylor? Hi there, handsome. Hi, honey, Ed. Long. I hope you remember it. This is my night to go to the practice range. Uh, sure. I'll wait and have dinner with you. Okay. Or I can get a sandwich with the guys. No, I'll wait. Ray, did you move my target pistol again? No, I'll get it for you, dear. Oh, never mind. I found it. Whatever do you mean, Lenny? Well, those boots. What are you supposed to be, a fireman? I thought you liked firemen. And where's your dress? Why aren't you wearing a dress? This just happens to be a dress. It can't be. I've got undershirts longer than that. I suppose you don't care for the wig, either. The wig? No. The wig I like. You do? Yeah. It makes you look like one of my favorite movie stars. Really? Harpo Marx. Harpo Marx? That's ridiculous. He had curly hair. Harpo Marx, Hugh Brenner, what's the difference? Just didn't like it. How about the brunette wig? I was lucky he didn't wait to see it. I'm sure you, what am I gonna do? I love him, but he's so bored with me, he wouldn't care if my hair were on fire. The first thing you're going to do is not give up. Yeah, I appreciate your concern, but it's hopeless. I don't think so. Was he bored with you when he said you look like Harpo Marx? No, he was furious. Aha, uh -huh, there. You see what I mean? You caused an emotion. He's coming your way. He was going the other way when he said it. But he'll be back. And we'll be ready for it. You have something in mind? Do I ever? Hey, 
you guys. That's enough already. Stop it. We can't. I'm not dead. Yes. Stop it or you will be. <laughs> Just like in the movies, you didn't muss a hair. for you, I think Lenny's gonna love it. Oh, I just hope he doesn't think it makes me look like Hitler. Oh, come on, Marie. I mean it. I think it makes me look like Hitler. I'd be surprised if he ever gets past that negligee. That's fabulous. Do you like it? Wow. <sighs> he gave it to me for our honeymoon. Of course, I never got the chance to wear it. Well, I better take the baby out of here before Lenny gets back. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. What I really wore was a shower curtain. A shower curtain? We went to Niagara Falls, but our luggage went to Toronto. We hadn't been in our room half an hour when the hotel caught on fire. I had to run out in a shower curtain. <laughs> now remember, don't worry about the baby or Earl. You can pick them up any time tomorrow. Julia, you're the dearest friend any friend ever befriended. Do I really look all right? Is the Mona Lisa smiling? If that man is bored now, his problem must be tired blood. <laughs> Gee, lady, I, I'm sorry. Believe me, I'm sorry. I, I live in this building. Uh, I, I really do. I'm, I'm a police officer, and I, I wouldn't try anything funny, honest. I know it's my number. I know this has got to be it. Yes, Leonard, it's really me. Why the candles? Did we blow a fuse? No. I just thought it might be nice for a change. Champagne? Uh, no, I don't think so. It makes me burp. Do you know that in this light, your hair almost looks black? It's a wig. Do you like it? I don't know, but it sure looks good with that negligee. Shall we drink a toast to Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls? Or to shower curtains, if you'd rather. <laughs> the all night movies together all night well i have no idea how much sleep you lost on my account but believe me it was worth it it was all you did was save my marriage and get this lenny wants me to go brunette permanently permanently mm -hmm. he insisted i keep the wig and he sure wasn't bored when he said it <laughs> No. No what, Doctor? 
No, whatever it is. Then you wouldn't like to see Eddie Edson? Only under a microscope. I heard that, Dr. Chagley. Good. Then we can eliminate ear trouble. So, that's what they look like when they're not near mouth. You sure got some bedside manner. He's complained of sprained ankles. As you can see, they're quite swollen, but there's no fracture. How'd it happen? I don't know. I guess I've just been working too hard around the plant. The only thing you work too hard around here is your jaw. Now, how did it happen? Well, it's a job-related ailment. Go on. Do you know D.D. D. Vanderjet in Steno? No. Yes, you do, Doctor. She's that blonde with the hyperactive pituitary? Oh, yes. The tall job with the strawberry mold. Yeah. Really? Where? Never mind, Eddie. Oh. Anyway, Dee Dee's a lot taller than me, but I've been trying to make points with her. And she's a tennis nut. So that's it. You sprained your ankles jumping over the net. No. Jumping under the net? No. Playing in elevated tennis shoes. Elevated sneakers? They cost a lot, but I like her. You know, your trouble isn't in your feet, it's in your head. Huh? Be yourself. Then if you're liked, you'll know it's for you, not for somebody you're pretending to be. Ask Cyrano de Bergerac. Who? Cyrano de Bergerac. What department's he in? And I'm never coming back! Sure, I understand. I don't know how I can make it more explicit. My husband's in love with somebody else. Who? Who is he in love with? Me! Now that's the part you'll have to make more explicit. The new me, the poor man's Audrey Hepburn. But the new me isn't really me. He's made me worried to bed every night this week. I see. What really gets my goat is that he's been using me to be unfaithful to his own wife. That's him, the two-timer. I don't want to see him. Oh, my. I know she's here, Julia. Don't try to hide her. I don't think she wants to see you right now. She's very upset. Well, so am I. Do you know that she accused me of being unfaithful? Well, isn't that ridiculous? Well, I... Of course it is. How can a guy get in trouble kissing his own wife? She seems to think it's the new Marie that you're in love with. Well, I am. Well, that's the whole problem, Lenny. The new Marie, like Cyrano, is only a pretense. She wants to be loved for herself. Well, she is. I don't care about that wig. I think it makes her look like Hitler. But she's different when she wears it. Different how? The new Marie is like the old Marie, the one I married. She's more like her old self in the new wig. Tell Leonard J. Wagadorn I heard that idiotic remark and I want it explained. Tell Marie J. Wagadorn that I will, if she thinks she can take it. I can take it. Okay. The new Marie found some time for her husband. It wasn't all the baby this and Earl that. For a change, she was like her old self again. Then you were never bored with me? Bored with you? How could any red-blooded man be bored with a red-headed woman? You two will have to find some place else to neck. I've just got to get some sleep. Are you sure you put the wig back in the box? Positive. Almost. I mean, what else would I do with it? Could Earl and Corey have been playing with it again? Probably. Now, let's see. If I were two little six-year-old boys, where would I leave a wig? On one of their heads, maybe. No. <laughs> On someone else's head? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 